Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to solve homogeneous differential equation. You observe this problem. Show that given differential equation is homogeneous differential equation and solve it. This is the given differential equation. We need to show that it is a homogeneous differential equation. How? We will show given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. You observe these two steps. These two steps we use to show given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. You observe this step one. In step one, we will write given differential equation in the form of dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. So this is the given differential equation. From this first. I'll write dy by dx. x minus y into dy equal to. I'll take this expression to the right hand side. Then what you will get? You will get that x plus y into dx. From this, I can write dy by dx. dy by dx equal to x plus y divided by. You take this expression to the right hand side. x minus y. You can observe that. We written given differential equation in the form of dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. f of x comma y means it is a function in terms of x and y. So here, what is f of x comma y? f of x comma y is x plus y divided by x minus y. Now to show it is a homogeneous differential equation, I'll calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. If we are able to express it in the form of Lambda power n into f of x comma y. Then we say that it is a homogeneous differential equation of degree n. I'll calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. How we will calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y? In place of x, you write lambda x. In place of y, you write lambda y. So lambda x plus lambda y whole divided by x minus y. In place of x, you write lambda x. In place of y, you write lambda y. You can observe here in the numerator, I can take lambda common. In the denominator also, I can take lambda common. Then what you will get in the numerator lambda, denominator lambda will get cancelled. Then you will get this as x plus y divided by x minus y. You observe this carefully. Here nothing is there. Means I can write one here. One can be written as lambda power zero. We know that lambda is a non-zero constant. Lambda is a constant. It is not equal to zero. So lambda power zero is nothing but one only. One into this expression you will get. So this can be written as lambda power zero into what is x plus y divided by x minus y? X plus y divided by x minus y is nothing but f of x comma y. So what we identified here when we calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. We are getting the expression of the form lambda power zero into f of x comma y. What it concludes? It concludes that as we are able to express f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y, we can conclude that it is a homogeneous differential equation of degree zero. I'll conclude the same. Therefore, given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree zero. So we shown that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Now we will solve this homogeneous differential equation. How to solve homogeneous differential equation? To solve a homogeneous differential equation, we will follow the particular procedure. What is that particular procedure? We will take y equal to v x. When we differentiate y equal to v x, we will get this dy by dx equal to v plus x into dv by dx. This y equal to v x and this dy by dx equal to v plus x into dy by dx. I'll substitute in the given differential equation like this. See, in place of dy by dx, you observe this. This is the given differential equation. In place of dy by dx, what I'll write? I'll write v plus x into dv by dx equal to. Now, in this expression, in place x remains same. In place of y, we will write v x. This is the procedure to solve homogeneous differential equation. How we will solve? We will put y equal to v x, and in place of dy by dx, we will write v plus x into dv by dx. Here, x remains same. In place of y, I'll write 
vx whole divided by x remains same in place of y i'll write vx okay now i'll simplify this little bit we'll see what happens v plus x into dv by dx equal to you can observe here in the numerator we can take x common in the denominator also we can take x common so in the numerator x and denominator x will get cancelled what will be remaining the remaining one is 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v now i'll take this v to the right hand side we see what will happen x into dv by dx equal to 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v now you take this plus v to the right hand side then you will get minus v okay x into dv by dx equal to what is lcm here the lcm is 1 minus v okay then what you will get in the numerator in the numerator you will get like this 1 plus v minus v into 1 minus v if we simplify this further x into dv by dx equal to 1 plus v multiply here minus v into 1 is v minus of minus plus v into v that is v square divided by 1 minus v here plus v minus v will get cancelled then what you got x into dv by dx equal to 1 plus v square divided by 1 minus v what happened all this information we got from the third step only in third step we will put y equal to vx and in place of dy by dx we will write v plus x into dv by dx and i simplified i got like this to do this further you must know variable separable method variable separable method you take 1 minus v to this side you will get 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v square into dv equal to you take this x to the right hand side it will become 1 by x into dx you can observe here all v terms dv all x terms dx is separated this is the procedure of doing in variable separable method once variables are separated we integrate on both side integrate this on both sides integral of 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v square into dv equal to integral of 1 by x into dx okay you observe this part how we integrate this you observe this 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v square that i can write like this see 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v square is written as 1 divided by 1 plus v square minus v divided by 1 plus v square this is a little bit of simplification that you can understand easily into dv equal to integral of 1 by x dx in integration we know this direct formula integral of 1 by x dx is log x base e plus c we'll write integral constant plus c at any one side uh, as we already learned in earlier classes in variable separable method we will write plus c at right hand side only okay it comes to integration part how we integrate here we integrate each and every term like this integral of 1 divided by 1 plus v square into dv minus integral of v divided by 1 plus v square into dv equal to log x base e plus we know this formula in integration what formula integral of 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx what is this formula its formula is tan inverse x plus c direct formula is there so integral of 1 divided by 1 plus v square dv this is in terms of v so what we will write here we will write here tan inverse of v minus and we know this formula we are using very frequently this formula we learn this formula in integration integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx equal to log mod f of x plus c if numerator is the derivative of denominator then we can write its answer directly you observe what is the derivative of 1 plus v square with respect to v what is the derivative of 1 plus v square with respect to v derivative of 1 is 0 plus derivative of v square with respect to v is 2v so what is derivative of 1 plus v square derivative of 1 plus v square is 2v you observe in the numerator only v is there if we have 2 here then we can integrate it very easily so what i'll do i'll write here 1 2 and i'll divide here with 2 2 will get cancelled again you will get the same step 
minus 1 by 2 into now you see its derivative is there in the numerator so i can apply this formula here so apply what you will get log mod f of x here f of x means 1 plus v square equal to log x base e plus so you can observe in the question v is not there so what is v from this what is v v is y divided by x so what you will get here this is tan inverse of y by x minus 1 by 2 into log mod 1 plus v square v square is what v is y by x v square is y square divided by x square equal to log x base e plus this is the solution of given homogeneous differential equation important point from person to person answer will vary because here i written plus c on right hand side you can write that plus c on the left hand side also in place of c you can write log c because log c is also integral constant what i am trying to say when a person solves homogeneous differential equation from person to person answer will vary only the thing is answers looks different but both will gives the same meaning so to avoid the confusion in this homogeneous differential equation you please avoid test book answers and make sure that you done all the procedure correctly i hope you understand this class.